Hello and guten Tag to War Thunder with Lutz Stahlhagel. Today I'm going to take out my Panther uh, Mark D tank or uh, Panther Ausführung D as you can say in German. And um, let's see what we can do here in the battlefield. I did not do any review or any test um, for this tank yet, but um, I will do it uh, shortly after this video here. Today I just want to have some fun in my Panther tank. Um, and it's a very good tank, as you can see here in this game. Today I'm playing, or I'm right now playing here on the Ash River map. This is one of my favorite maps um, so far on War Thunder Ground Forces, and I like it very much. Um, I like it because one point here, the point C, is a very strong sniping position. You can only show your turret and hide um, some of your weak spots of your tank. And for German tanks it's a very good position here because you can snipe your enemy and only show a minimum of your uh, tank. So let's see what we got here. Um, a KV-1 L11. Not a big threat. Of course it's an AI-2. So well let's see if um, enemy is coming here that we can snipe. But we have a lot of companion here. So a lot of company. So I will go down and try to cap point C. Let's see if I can make it down there. Normally one or two opponents should appear here. Maybe mainly to the right in the valley or up the slope there. But I don't see any yet. Okay, so I made it into the cap circle and Another point where the enemy can show up is right up there, this slope. So I angle my tank very well there, and yes, I captured the zone. And let's try to sneak out here. The slope up there. Okay, nothing there. Okay, let's move up um, and try to do our best in the middle of the map. I think the most is going on there right now. Let's crawl up this hill here. As for the most German tanks, or the most tanks in game overall, you can say um, this tank is very slow up the hill. And as you can see here, the turret reverse of um, the Panther tank is very, very bad. It's like, um, com could be compared to the Tiger tank, which turret reverse is only 7 degrees a second. Um, I don't think the Panther's turret reverse speed is much faster. So let's snipe this AI here. Okay, got it. And uh, let's see what's in the middle of the map. Hopefully we don't get shot here when we try to come up. Um, let's see what we can do with our good gun group pressure. Okay, T-34, A5, whoa! IS-2, let's have a good shot, and we already got shot here, oh it's a flat tank. Whoa, okay, this should be directed from the T-34-85 there. I think they already have seen us here and um, are looking for us here. I don't want to hang around there and come up the slope where we don't... Oh wait, I don't have so much protection. Let's move up here and... Oh, yes, there's... Oh, great. Oh, great. Okay, so... That was nothing. My tiger companion got killed there. Completely destroyed by the IS-2 and I got a nice hit into the side of my panther tank. So, let's move down. And I don't want to go up there in the next moments because they are watching me here um, yeah they are definitely watching me here okay let's wait down here until some reinforcements to the south appear and um, distracting them maybe the T-3485 driver is coming after me because he saw that I got hit very bad so I will wait down here for the next moments that we could um, yeah, regain some control of the game. Oh, this tank turns so bad on the slope. 
Um, my advice to you is um, to move a little bit forward and then turn to the right or to the left. Makes turning much easier for... Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay, let's see what we can do. Come on! Ah, okay, bounce the shot. Turn! Turn! Ah, I only knocked out his driver. Yes! Got him. Ah, oh, I was pretty close. I, he may have penetrated my lower glasses. And... Oh, my transmission is gone. So I have to repair. So, let's see what we can do when we are repairing. Okay, there's a T-35. Let's get him with some nice artillery, bro. Maybe this can distract him a little bit, so my teammates can attack him and uh, distract him a little bit. I hope nobody is coming after me right now because I'm in a very miserable situation right here. I hope my crew can repair my tank very fast so that I can re-engage him. Oh, go oh, great! We got him. He did not move. He did not move at all. I think. So, um, yeah, there you can see good advice from me. Always move when artillery is on your head, even if you're driving the biggest tank in the game, always move, because artillery can do a lot of damage to you, to your crew, or even destroy your tank totally, as it happened here. Okay, let's move up again. I hope the situation um, is cleared a little bit here. God damn it, what? What? In God's name is that? Have you ever seen that before? It's like a time loop. The tree is falling and falling and never hits the ground and falling again. Maybe we discovered a, a black hole here. I don't know. A little bit buggy even today. After several patches. But nevertheless... It's still a good game. Looks like the middle of the map is kind of clear. I only see AI, so let's snipe some AI. I do not see any... No, I do not see any opponents right here. I'm not quite sure if I really do like this gun of the Panther tank. The penetration um, is very good. As for that, I can say it's one of my favorite guns in the game. But the damage output is not that high. If you are really um, used to driving a Tiger tank with the 88mm gun, you're really um, used to a very big punch, a devastating gun. And the Pan Panther is kind of missing this, I think. So you always have to make every shot count and really have to aim for the uh, critical spots on the enemy tanks, like the ammunition rack or the fuel tanks. And if you're not so familiar with enemy tanks or with tanks overall, you really need to take two or even three shots for uh, one tank. And uh, you really need to focus on the enemy weak spots and get to know where they are. Okay, match is over, nice one. Okay, um, the next match is here in... Uh, yeah, it's the new Mostock map. Um, I must say I really like the new Mostock map, um, because it's a very, very good sniping map. Um, especially um, the Panther and the Tiger tank uh, do profit um, of this very large map. It has some very nice wide areas, with some kind of gentle hills, with some tiny or gentle slopes where you can really build some strong points with your turret armor. And especially the Tiger tank is very hard tank to knock out um, from distance. I think I'm the only tank... yeah. Oh yeah, I'm the only tank in the west here right now. And um, I think as for that I don't play very aggressive here. I think I will 
arrange a defensive position on the slope in front of me and um, maybe I can distract or even hold off the enemy when my companions or my uh, teammates to the east move up so let's see what we can do here okay there's a heavy tank another heavy tank moving to the east oh hello you didn't expect that huh <laughs> yeah show me a turret yeah show me a turret okay I think that was slightly too high but he he doesn't return fire okay stand stand there okay this maybe was a little bit too low still not returning fire I don't think if he sees it. oh okay. how did this one not penetrate this guy I don't know. Oh, that was close. Okay, how did that not penetrate? It hit him right in the front of the turret. And my penetration values of this gun would be more than enough. Okay, missed that one. That was a little bit too low, I guess. Okay. Just hit his nice, juicy, fat ass. But they are really showing me that th the sights. I should really profit from that. They put themselves in, in a very, very bad situation. I can shoot them from the side and my teammates, like, literally all, can shoot at them. I'm surprised that they're still alive. Okay, <laughs> there goes the first. Let's get the other. Okay, that was a hit. Rearrange a little bit lower. Yeah, just hit his roof. Okay, it was a little bit too low. I think I may got him now. Ah, he moved. Okay, nevertheless. We got it. That's all. That's all what's counting. I think I will move up now. And uh, what? What is this? Okay, it was is SU one hundred. Okay, I think I move up a little bit here and um, try to do some pressure on this T thirty four eighty five guy if he is still there. Yeah. Okay, we managed to kill already four of them two of them are left okay yeah did you see on the map he's still there okay he might be directly in front of me so I think I will go left side around this little slope or this little hill there and hopefully surprise him from behind so while I'm driving a nice little um, tip of me. You can calculate your shots to at the distance by the um, quarters on the map. One side of a quarter is round about f uh, 400 meters, so you can stack up the quarters and calculate um, the vertical aim. Okay, there he is. Okay, nice one. Oh, I did not blow up his ammo rack, so let's try if I can set him on fire. Okay, did not work. Either way, oh, she's he's turning, he's turning, he's turning. Reload. Okay, that's it for you, my friend. See, that's what I meant in the last match. Um, sometimes you really have to take two or three shots to kill even a 
a tank with a small fighting room or fighting compartment. Okay, there it is. And uh, the 88 mm guns do really profit um, from their big punch, and the 75 mm guns do not have this punch. Okay. Oh, look, there's the S. It's an ISU. Maybe around about 800 meters? Around about 800. 600, yeah. Okay, knocked out. The gun? Yeah, okay, stay there. Yeah, uh, there he goes. Okay, knocked out the crew. At least it did not take uh, three shots this time. Okay, what's over there? Oh, that's the guy we killed before. Now he's in the T-35-57. He may be around about... 1,000... around 1,000 meters away. Okay. I think it's no threat to us, and uh, it's all about who gets him first. Okay, our tiger friend got him. And I think that should be all, I guess. I don't think there was an enemy more left. Maybe the IS ISU driver got back into the fight. I'm going for the cap and try to... Oh no, okay. They lost all of the vehicles and... Uh, yeah, the match is pretty much over. So, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed... Um, watching me driving the panther tank and uh, maybe you learned something too. In the next few days I try to make a review of the panther Ausführung or Mark D. Uh, where you can see where are the weaknesses, where are the strengths of this tank. What can you expect of the panther tank and um, yeah, I hope you do the best on the battlefield and let's see on the battlefield. So, have a nice day. Bye!